Welcome everyone to the ninth video of my EU4 Aragon Challenge Let's Play. So during the last video, basically a huge war broke out at the end of the video. France had previously taken a ton of territory off Burgundy and Provence and accrued a ton of aggressive expansion. So a huge coalition formed, basically all of these red nations apart from Castile I believe. Uh, basically Venice started the war off and because Castilla allied to Venice they joined in on the war so because I'm allied to France I have a decision to make should I honor my call to arms or dishonor it and to be honest I don't really want to be at war with all of these red nations so I'm going to dishonor the alliance and I actually want France to get beaten up a heck of a lot in this war as well uh, I'd be surprised if any of these nations takes territories but France hopefully will be forced to spit out some uh, independent nations. Right, so I'm going to dishonor the alliance. I think I'm the only ally as well, but they have uh, quite a few small vassal states still. Right, so decline. So my relations with France have gone down a huge amount. Dishonored alliance. And that also means I have uh, one less ally. So I could be, could cause future problems. Sadly, I offered a royal marriage to France, or they did to me in the last video, and I accepted, so I'm still going to have a relation slot over my amount. So that's costing me diplo points. Cost me a ton of prestige, that did as well, which isn't good. Uh, right, so I should uh, get started anyway. Okay, so I'll call that diplomat. That's mixed relations with France. Bourbonnais, Foire and Auvergne want access. I'm going to say no. If Castilla asks me for access, I think I'll say yes. I think they did previously, but I didn't notice it. And I probably would have turned it down at that point anyway. Uh, so, military tech. Right. I'm not going to spend that quite yet. I may get a neighbor bonus, hopefully. Uh, right. Diplomat is back from France. I'm going to start making claims. I believe I took a mission to claim Tlemcen, so I'm going to do that. Uh, there was some claims I was make. Well, I made a claim in Europe. What's the aggressive expansion on eight? Yeah, I want to make some more claims against uh, the Papal States allies in a bit. Uh, right, so over here. Uh, so cover action, fabricate claim, Tlemcen. Okay, they're no longer in a coalition against us, and I'm hoping that stays the same, otherwise I'd be at war with Morocco again, which I probably don't want to be. Um, right, so I've realised as well, even with that Inquisitor, I'm probably not going to be able to convert any of these anytime soon, uh, until Berber becomes an accepted culture, and that's not going to be able for a while, I think. Even if I raise my stability up, it's still too much. If the, I could maybe do but I haven't even called them yet so I don't think it's worthwhile me spending a huge amount of money on missionaries if that inquisitor were to die or my stability were to go down for some reason it would stop right so Austria sent a warning I may take religious ideas next I'm not sure yet though I'll have to see okay so constables are finished can I afford any more, I probably can, so I think it's probably worth my while in making them. Uh, right, so constables 1.6 for Palermo and Aragon. I think Palermo is the best, so I'll do here. Right, I should probably think about getting another ally as well, maybe Burgundy, maybe England. Uh, I don't really want to increase my diplomatic slots for a while, hopefully. Well, uh, that's a huge army France has got there. Yes, I'll accept that. Get Castile against, into the action. Right, that doesn't increase my slots, does it? No, just increases Castile's. Right, that le means less chance of them to claim war on me now as well. Uh, right. Uh, 
Hungary broke the alliance with Tuscany. I think I should make another constable. Uh, how much for temples? Temples would give me 1.15 constables. Okay, so I'll do Aragon next. Right. Naval research Ron lose fifth. Wow. So lose prestige or diplomatic power. There's an event that comes later on where you lose 50. Well, Aragon have an event. Basically, if you choose it, you lose 50 prestige. And I'd probably want to take the event because it's quite good. So losing. Uh, I need to keep my prestige high, but I don't want to lose diplomatic points either. So I think I'll take the prestige hit. Uh, I can't go below zero prestige or I'd risk losing my personal union basically. So I need to uh, be wary of it. Alright, so Hungary, Tuscany relations. Not sure where I'm. Oh, I think I've uh, got Tuscany as one of the nations I'm interested in. England allies to them. Shift in the courier. Burgundy is now in control. I can get my next national idea, which is Quest for the New World, so I'll take that now. And I think I'm actually going to take my uh, military power now as well, actually. Because uh, I might be needing to use some of the, uh, my units in a minute. Right, so I'll upgrade my troops. I'll take the Lombo. And uh, what else? I might want to stick some morale on. I need a new general, or actually a conquistador. So I'll hire him. He's pretty good as well, actually. Really good. So I'll stick him in charge here. I might want to stick my maintenance on for a bit. If I'm going to be doing exploring. I think right, I want to find and colonize this territory first before Portugal or Spain does. So I'll bring him down here. If I I need the diplomatic points at the moment, so that's one of the reasons why I didn't buy an explorer. I bought Conquistador instead. Uh, right, so I'm going to split these in half. Actually, needs right, four cav. Uh, 10 infantry, or 6 infantry. Right. They can attach once the morale comes back up. Leinster was annexed. Okay, called Province of La Guat. Uh, these can attach. I'll bring those down to here. Okay, so once uh, these have been brought down to here, I'll start to explore down there basically. Right, so I'm pause. Cardinal, just lost him. Not sure I'm going to be able to win this unless I, he ends up in a courier quite quickly. My manpower is still a heck of a long way off from recovering. Uh, Liege. Right, what's triply up to? 120, I need 190 to start annexation process, I think. Okay, if we ch Ifni. Oh, if I put the wrong one on. Looks like I have it. How did I manage that? Um, well, he's... Yeah, right, I'll explore there. Uh, might as well, I guess. Uh, I have to put, I'll put it on full. I think there's a heck of a lot of natives here and my military level isn't currently an awful lot much more than the native level so I'll have to make sense on. Right. England just declared one Scotland. Looks like England could be quite strong in this game potentially. Right. I'm assuming they win that. Right, Tlemkin has been claimed. That completed a mission. 
Uh, Truce of Algiers runs out in 67, so I'll make another claim, I think, against them in a minute. Uh, take Tlemkin. I want to do that, actually. Admin power as well. Right, I'll hold off a tiny bit on that. Uh, right, so let's uh, find this territory anyway. Diplomat arrived from Algiers. We found a uh, new province. I may want to colonize two at one time. Uh, decent chance I will. Uh, I'll have to figure that out in a bit. Right, so Diplomat is back. Let's just send that to... Uh, let's make another claim. Constantine. Okay. Steel just entered the military alliance of Burgundy. That's not good. Didn't want that happening. Uh, right. Not, well, it, it's possible that uh, Burgundy may not exist in a bit. It's unlikely that their territory would go to France now, though, maybe. Because they're at war, I'm not sure. Right, so there's only so that many natives here, actually, 4,000. Right, um, I think I want this colonized extremely quickly, so I might actually attack the natives and uh, to help improve that. Can I? S oh, I can't even send it here yet. I need 400 to be in range. So I should just send it here if I can. We're not in range of that one either. Nearest port is Bahia. So I'm not sure if I needed to keep these or I could have traded them to... Uh, uh, what is it? Tunisia? Maybe I could have traded Biskra. But yeah, I need, I need that colonial range. I can't do that either yet. But it's not going to be too long. I need 400. Right, I might as well keep on it. Oh, it looks like Portugal's got here already. That's crap. Uh, let's find it anyway. Uh, put the time up a bit. Right, stick a maintenance down. Right. Okay, yeah, Portugal got Arguin, I think, or Rio de Oro. Uh, Switzerland joined the coalition a bit too late for them to join the war, though, I think. Right, they've reached Rio de Oro. They haven't long started that, but... I could. Have I got access off these? I think what I might do is ask for access, then move into that territory, stir up the natives, and then retreat. Uh, let's try that. bit gamey perhaps uh, but I'll do it anyway right so ask for access send okay and one guy there Ottomans annex the Athens Portugal just declared war on Morocco still honored um, I think I'm going to have to honour that, so 67, probably going after Tangiers. Okay, Diplomat's back, yeah, let's honour this then. Uh, yeah, accept. Um... Should I make a claim against Morocco? That's a gold... Yeah, I think I will, actually. Alright, uh, can I fabricate claim? Oh, crap. I should have done that just before accepting. Um, I might still take that territory in this water, potentially. Right. Um... So constable was completed. What's the Cassis belly? Uh, right. Okay, so I'll uh, stick my diplomat back into Tripoli, I believe. Relations there. 
Yeah, it's a pain. I didn't. I thought I could still make the claim even after accepting, but I guess you couldn't. Uh, right. Which are uh, green? It's probably Marley who owns that territory there. Not really in a position to declare one Marley in. I think I'll put him on um, you can't uh, move these back and forward like you can ships can you do that uh, right so this I think I'll move back over uh, right so I'll just check the time a second okay right and pause uh, army center attack and reload to Oro oh I forgot about those. Um, yeah, I can't really move that infantry back and forth then if uh, there are natives there. I don't think I have maintenance on either, do I? Or I have it on a bit. Okay. Um, natives there as well. Yeah, I think I'll just move all of these back over. Right. How long for this uh, claim to... Right, I'm going to be starting a war when that claim uh, finishes. I'll turn the maintenance off and then I'll put it back on. Well, actually, we're at war with Morocco now, so maybe I should... Um, Stick it on. Uh, try and take Seuss off them. How many troops do they have? A lot, actually. 21,000. Uh, right. Uh, constable completed. Right. can attach to there. These can... I think I'll risk moving that there. I'll bring some more troops over. Um, I could just bring them down to there. Right. Okay. Time up a bit. Uh, right, so we've reached Seuss. Oh, right, it's Moroccan forces over here. Not all of them are... Right now, they all are coming over here. Um, 29th of June. We're going to have to retreat. Nineteenth. Right. Come over there. They can load up on the boats and I'll bring them over to here. Should probably check out the supplies like in the region as well. Uh, so seventeen fifteen. Yeah, potentially I wouldn't mind taking these territories to link up, but... Okay, so my royal marriage has run out with Ostrich since their monarch died, so we're going to have to redo that in a minute, probably. Uh, army reached Fagoog. Uh, they're probably still in Marrakesh, so I'll bring these troops down to there. I'll bring the fence, actually. Where it is? Um, bring them to there. Just uh, soiter. These can move to there. Uh, Poland annex Moldavia. Moldova. So Poland's getting quite strong now. 
Wins off to Fagoog. They get their 27. This Trinity and Forces could be in trouble. I'm uh, not sure I can do anything about that. Come over there. Right, I think I'll uh, move down to Marrakesh. Right, so it's 4th of September, 10th. I don't think I'm going to bother trying to protect my vassals here. Maybe I should, but... Right there. Okay. Right, ten of attrition there. I think I'll split that up now. Move to there. I'll split my armies up a bit here. No, I think. Alright, split half there. Uh, they can go there. He can go to there. Let's try that. Right, the army's gonna get crushed. Nah, no, it's crap. Algiers just entered a coalition, so that means I'm going to be at war with, uh, well, if I declare war on them now, then I'm at war with Morocco anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. It's only two nations in a coalition against me. Uh, right, so, Safi. Just, uh, Sus as well. This, this province is gold mine, so I probably Probably definitely worth my while taking it. Alright. Uh, Although it would uh, mean I have a ton of extra admin costs for getting rid of inflation. Right, claim fabricated on Constantine. I'll declare war on Algiers in a minute, I think. Uh, right, so. There's Siege of Laguat. Right, so let's declare war on these. Uh, I have a mission. Take Tlemkin. I'll take that. Uh, right. And cheers, diplomacy. Declare war. Probably take these two territories and then try and sell them to Tunisia in this war. I probably won't take their capital. Um, so take Tlemkin. Austria and Portugal say no, but it doesn't really matter. So declare war. I'm already at war with Morocco. Right. that. Diplomat arrives home from there. Looks like Steel's starting to do a decent job here, maybe. Uh, right, so can I get a potential alliance of England? Uh, we have number of great power allies for Aragon, minus 50. That's a new addition to 1.5, so that's going to make things... Uh, it's going to make it very difficult for me to get allies. Um, oh, Austria should probably give them a royal marriage. Definitely need to keep on to Austria as an ally now. So, domestic royal marriage. Send to there. Okay. Might separate piece once I've taken these two territories off Morocco. Uh, right, so Naples got quite a large force over there. How big are my allies' armies? 5, 4, 16. Right, diplomats back. I think I'll improve relations with Austria for a bit. Uh, improve relations, send. Okay.
can I wrap? Where's my fleet to? And over there, I'll bring them to there. Cardinal, treasures available. Okay, right, so we've taken Safi. Uh, these can move on to Marrakesh. Maybe I should move on to Tunisia actually. No, I'll get Morocco at the wharf first, I think. Um, I might lose Laguat in a minute. It's not the end of the world though, to be honest. Uh, Navy's under attack. Uh, I've reached my cash. Should be okay with supply. Land into the coalition. It's France. Uh, I've wiped out their fleet. Uh, this can... Revolt there. Help out Naples for the blockade. Noble family requests aid. Right, so I could raise war tanks as well. Is this war going to last a couple of years? Not sure it will. Probably should have done so before. Yeah, I think I'll raise war tanks. But uh, King's pretty good at the moment. Getting a decent amount of monarch points. I think I'll let this run. Hopefully I can get enough money without taking a couple of loans. Okay, right, killed another ship. Uh, they can stay there. Does Algiers have a navy? No. Morocco's is all being wiped out. Oh, uh, Morocco's army's moved off. They're in two pieces. I need to keep an eye on those. Byzantine refugees. Scotland made peace of England. Lost pretty much all their territory. There's five prestige. Whoa, tech cost. How long? 30 years. For diplomatic power, admin power, prestige. Not sure how much I'm going to be investing in tech, to be honest, over the next 30 years. I should probably take it, though. Um, yeah, I'll take that. Okay. Right, so. Uh, Took a loan out to pay for that event. Uh, Scotland entered the coalition. Took a loan. Muscovy annex perm. Uh, so this is over. Right, uh, I'm going to get a diplomat back from Austria. And I might make peace with Morocco now, but I'll figure that out in the next video. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.